and girls, welcome to Mrs. Stalzig's Classroom Workshop. Today I'm going to read you a story called Know-It-All Bugs, and then after that I'm going to read a funny little story called Bugs. Um, as we're talking about living and non-living, and we're talking about insects, um, I just wanted to read you a story, and I thought it was, um, I wanted to make sure that you could see the pictures on these. So the first one is called Know-It-All Bugs by Christopher Nicholas. Bugs. They walk, crawl, swim, and fly all over the world. There are more of them than any other kind of animal on earth, and they have been around for over 350 million years. What are they? Turn the page to find out. You probably call them bugs, but scientists call them insects. What makes an insect an insect? For one thing, it has a special body. All insects have hard shell on the outside called an exoskeleton. The shell protects the little insect just like metal armor protects a knight. So we have an earwig, ladybug, grasshopper, ant. An insect's body also has three parts. It has a head, a middle section called a thorax, and an abdomen. The three parts are easy to see on one insect that everyone knows, the ant. So the head, thorax, abdomen. Three body parts. People have two legs. Dogs and cats have four legs, and insects have six. Go ahead and count them. But not all insect legs are the same. Some legs are good for jumping far. Others are perfect for climbing, grabbing, running, or swimming. The grasshopper or praying mantis. Spiders have eight legs. They are not insects. And if you remember from the beginning of the year, they are arachnids. Dragonfly, beetle. Most insects have two or four wings. And just like legs, there are different kinds of wings. The dragonfly's big wings are perfect for flying fast and making quick turns in mid-air. But a beetle's wings are different. One pair is thick and leathery to protect the second pair of delicate flight wings. As you can see, bugs are a lot different from you and me. And speaking of seeing, did you know that insects have two different types of eyes? An insect's simple eyes, called ocelli, can only sense light. Their larger compound eyes can see objects and animals and their movements. So simple eyes and compound eyes. We have a fly. A housefly's compound eyes have thousands of little parts called lenses. Each lens sees a piece of a bigger picture. What would an apple look like to a fly? What is sticking out of that bug's head? Their feelers or antenna, and all insects have two of them. They help insects touch, taste, and smell the world around them. So for a body part, a hard outside shell called an exoskeleton, a head, thorax, abdomen, three parts, six legs, usually two or four wings, Sometimes simple and or compound eyes and two antenna. Where do insects live? Everywhere. They fly through the air and walk on the ground. They dig in the dirt and hide under rocks. They climb through the trees and swim in water. Some insects even live in your home. The damselfly, common stonefly, harlequin bug with eggs, Water strider, orange stone ivy, butterfly, pallid winged grasshopper, milkweed bug, bee. Some insects like the flea make themselves at home on other animals. People live together in groups called families. Some insects live together in groups too. Ants, bees, and termites live in groups called colonies bees, ants. Each member of an insect group has a special job. Some find and gather food, some build and dig, others take care of the young. 
Termites eat wood from trees and from your house. Where they live? In the air, on the ground, in dirt, under rocks, in trees, in and around water. Some live together in colonies or hives. What do insects eat? Some eat leaves and stems from plants and trees. Munch! Others suck nectar and juice from flowers and fruit. Slurp! And some insects like to eat other insects. Crunch! Some insects drink blood from other animals like you and me. Ouch! Other insects like the cockroach and the fly eat garbage. Animal waste and other dead things. Yuck! but they recycle garbage to keep the earth clean. So we have butterfly, ladybug, aphids, ladybug larva, cockroach, mosquito. The little silverfish likes to eat paper. Keep him away from this book. What bugs eat? Plants, other insects, blood, wood and paper, garbage, animal waste, and other dead things. How do insects talk to each other? Ants communicate through smells. They use odors to warn their nest mates of danger and to lead them to food. Other insects send messages with movement. When a bee finds food, it will do a little dance in the nest to tell other bees it's time to eat. Many insects communicate with sounds. Male field crickets chirp by rubbing their wings together to attract a female cricket. Fireflies find each other with flashes of light. Ants, bees, cricket, fireflies. How bugs talk, smells and scents, motion, sound, light. How do insects protect themselves? Wasps use poison stings to fight off predators. Other insects wear special armor. A few insects, like the stink bugs, spray stinky liquids at their enemies. They are the skunks of the insect world. Many insects have colors that blend with the places they live. This is called camouflage. Can you find the insects that, that the color helps hide on this page? The wasp, the goldsmith beetle, giant walking stick, stink bug, Scarlet and green leaf hoppers. How bugs protect themselves? Stingers, hard shell or exoskeleton, bad smell, color. How does an insect grow up? All insects hatch from eggs. As they grow, they get bigger and begin to look more like their parents, just like you. The change that insects go through from egg to adult is called Metamorphosis. That's a big word that means changes shape. There are different kinds of metamorphosis. Some insects change by just growing bigger. Others grow wings, but there are some insects such as butterflies that change so much that the adult looks nothing like the youth. Egg, larva, caterpillar, pupa, chrysalis, adult. How bugs grow up? All hatch from eggs. All go through metamorphosis. Bet you didn't know flies can taste with their feet. When, a, when in flight, a mosquito beats its wing 300 times in a single second. The water strider can actually walk on water. A flea can jump over 200 times its own length. One ladybug can lay up to 1,500 eggs in her lifetime. Cockroaches are so smart that they have learned to run mazes in laboratories. The giant water bug has been known to eat tadpoles and small fish. A dragonfly can fly as fast as 30 miles per hour. Some beehives have up to 50,000 bees. A cricket can hear with its legs. Insects are amazing, but you know what my favorite thing about them is? Turn the next page to find out. They're small. <laughs> so that's pretty good with all the things that they can do. So hopefully you can remember some of the things that they can do. 
All right, the next story I'm going to read is just a fun one. It's called Bugs. Um, it's David T. Greenberg, author of Slugs, and it's illustrated by Lynn Munsinger, Bugs. Beetles, bed bugs, bottle flies, tarantulas the size of pies, with lots and lots and lots of eyes staring at you bugs. A million maggots in a vase, lice as thick as mayonnaise. A horsefly that's so huge it neighs, glaring at you bugs. Bugs with pinchers, claws, and hair, bugs more fiercer than a bear. Buggies in your underwear, tearing at you bugs. Oh, in your clothes they're resting, in your nose they're nesting. There isn't any question, they're infesting your intestine. As you can notice, this is a rhyming book. Yup, load them or adore bugs, there's no way to ignore bugs. So even if you hate them, why not investigate them? Now you may have had a hunch, if you bite bugs, they will crunch. This is true, but stay alert, the fat ones sometimes squirt. Perhaps your intuition about those spit bugs you've been squishing is they're useless. That ain't true. They're great to barbecue. But bugs have far more uses than for barbecues or juices. You can do such nifty tricks with teensy flies to ticks. So grab a garden spider, saddle her and ride her. yippee yay yay yippee yay yo rope her at the rodeo. Rare beyond compare is caterpillar hair. Take a tweezers, yank it, weave yourself a blanket. Or know what's even better, a caterpillar sweater. There's a microscope of udder that you'll find on female fleas. You can milk them and make butter or the most delicious cheese. Teach your centipede to fetch, teach her to play dead, teach her to go potty in your mom and daddy's bed. A scorpion in a string bikini, a tick wearing only a hat, a tuxedo on a teeny weeny itsy bitsy mat. Try millipedes for dental floss, feel them scrape away the moss. Drop one down your sister's pants, watch her do the boogie dance. <laughs> Incandescent fireflies, dragonflies, and bees, string them all together to light up Christmas trees. Wrapped in cast from head to toe, your brother cannot scratch. Drop termite larva down the crack, he'll love it when they hatch. The flavor of a cricket is so sweet that you can lick it. It's actually far sweeter than the flavor of a skeeter. A bracelet made of butterflies, a beetle for a brooch, an earwig for a nose ring. In your navel, put a roach. Use spider webs for tissues. They're perfect trampolines. Roll them into balls, and they'll taste like jelly beans. Strap a giant water bug underneath each toe. You can use them just like water skis or walk on H2O. Praying Mantis Pizza is a culinary must with lots of extra maggots and a daddy long legs crust. The pupa of bull weevils make bodacious curly wigs. For phenomenal fake whiskers, love those whirly gigs. Stink bug, stink bug, squish them in your fist. Drop them in a pepper mill, give the crank a twist. Ew. Oh, touching a bug is so yucky to some that the thought of it makes them sweat. But bugs are truly fond of us. They like you as their pet. They'll train you to fetch sticks, to sit, roll over, play dead. They'll walk you on a leash. If you're good, they'll scratch your head. You'll sleep at the foot of their bed, cuddle in their laps, lick them when you're happy, nibble up their scraps. And then one day they'll polish you lovingly with wax, attach you to a wall with bubble gum and tacks. How lucky can you get? For that's where you shall stay in their human being collection on permanent display. <laughs> While the story was silly, of course, it was a fun way to rhyme and to mention lots of different bugs. But of course, we know we won't do those things to those poor insects, will we? No. So we're talking about living creatures and we're talking about um, insects. 
What would be fun thing to do is to um, learn about one of your favorite insects. Now is the time of year where insects are coming out all the time. They're um, hatching out of those eggs, crawling all around. So maybe pick one and then study and find out everything you can about it. Get outside and, and observe it. So we hope you enjoy these fun little stories about bugs. And um, we will talk to you later. All right, bye everybody. Bye. bye.